everyone, Melanie Seacard here. Welcome to my kitchen. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're catching this as a replay, kindly hashtag replay, and please don't ever be shy to ask any questions. So I wanted to come on and, and give you guys a little bit of what's happening in my kitchen for dinner tonight. Um, super, super um, easy, and we're kind of have a few little things happening. So let me dive right in. Um, as some of you and some of you might not know, Epicure is 100% uh, Canadian owned and operated. And we've just opened in the US about a year and a half ago. And um, though uh, all of our products are 100% gluten free, nut free, 90% non-GMO, 90% uh, vegan, and very, very sugar and sodium conscious. So what I have going on here tonight on my video is we're having some chicken. I'm going to be baking um, and cooking some potato wedges. And I'm also going to be uh, making some guacamole and what we are famously known for, Epicure's Extraordinary Cheese Dip. So for those that don't know, um, these are three of our most commonly served dips here. The three onion dip where you can put that in anything. Uh, I don't like that they're called dips because you really can put it into rice, into uh, vegetables, um, into your protein. So really versatile, it's just a mixture of spices. So in my extraordinary cheese dip, it's a block of cream cheese with a little bit of Greek yogurt, some grated cheese, and then a teaspoon of all of these guys. So the three onion, the lemon dill that it's amazing on fish or for tartare, for roasting uh, carrots, um, anything dill really or salmon um, and our cheese chives and bacon so this is great for a doubled uh, baked potato great for omelets so what I've got here it's just the cheese dip made up uh, great for stuffing mushrooms uh, great to serve with baguette or vegetables um, great to spread on um, your bagels in the morning and though um, it you can actually make it and then Freeze it. So we're just going to let that sit here and I'm going to cut a little bit of baguette here with Epicure's Prep Pro Knife. So as you can see, there's no fuss, no huss with this. Um, uh, there's no mess. So how many of you are like me when we're cutting baguette? It will often like crumble all over and make a huge mess. As you can see, great. Um, this knife uh, is great to cut. Uh, vegetables and chicken and and meats and and baguette you just don't want to cut things that are hard like bones right um, because it will obviously break it is uh, ceramic so we're cutting up here the baguette so it's going to be nice little appy here uh, for my family though I will be having the cheese dip with some uh, red bell peppers and some cucumber just for something nice and light. So we've got the baguette here ready to go. Uh, my husband will be throwing on the barbecue some um, chicken drumsticks. Uh, I am using the uh, barbecue chicken and rib. It's currently, this is a seasonal item. So this will be coming out in our summer catalog, but super, super great. So all I did was sprinkle the drumsticks and uh, once it is cooked, I'm going to mix this up with a little bit of ketchup and we're going to just base that on and that will be uh, chicken for tonight. Um, now, while that is going, we're going to be getting some wedges ready. So I'm just going to take here some uh, washed up potatoes and we're just going to wedge it out here. Um, so super easy. Uh, I'm going to put it in our uh, round steamer. So um, for those that are perhaps new to the steamers or haven't used them, we have three sizes. They are so great and versatile to steam veggies, uh, to cook uh, uh, chicken, meatballs, popcorn, cakes. Now, if you're not a microwave fan, no worries. We've got you. You can actually put this guy in uh, the oven. It also goes in the freezer and the dishwasher. So if I was in a rush, I would probably uh, cut this up um, and uh, put it in the microwave for about five minutes to kind of cook up the potatoes a little quicker. Uh, though I'm going to be putting this on our um, sheet pan and um, cook it in the oven. Now I will be using on these guys some rosemary and garlic 
uh, seasoning. So you're going to be noticing we have different seasonings here. So there's a rosemary and garlic seasoning and there's uh, an SPG. Um, so the SPG stands for salt, pepper, garlic. Uh, one of our number one uh, sellers uh, for that matter as well as the rosemary and garlic. The rosemary and garlic is simply delicious on chicken guys. So if you're a chicken or you love to roast vegetables, um, super, super uh, tasty and yummy. So I'm going to add a little bit uh, of olive oil here to my potatoes. We're going to just uh, mix this up as simple as this. Um, it's perfect from the non-cook to the seasoned cook to the one that maybe is just so tired that don't want to cook. So um, we're just going to sprinkle here the rosemary and garlic. I'm going to um, simply toss it as you can see. And then I'm going to be using um, our quarter sheet pan. Now we do have the regular size sheet pan that you can see here that I've got in the, in the oven happening with uh, some wedges currently. Um, the nice thing with this, it's like a no mess with our silicone liners. As you can see, there's like a, an edge to them. Um, so these small guys actually fit side by side in our larger uh, sheet pan. So it's great if you want to put chicken on one side and not have the juice leak out and then your veggies on the other ones for sheet pans. That's an other favorite and it's another cooking class all on its own. If you're into sheet pan dinners and you'd like to host your own um, virtual class, we could certainly do sheet pans. Um, though now the barbecue season is fasting approaching and um, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, with that. So we're going to uh, now simply put these guys in the oven for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So um, here we go in the oven, it goes. So we're going to put this steamer aside for now and we're going to get working now on some fresh guacamole. So I'm going to be using Epicure's four cup prep bowl. And I've got an avocado, a mar like a larger scale avocado. Um, a little trick that I've learned years ago is you want to massage and rub your avocado. Yes, that's what I said. A little trick from a chef years ago that um, taught me that. Um, super, super easy. It softens it up. We're going to cut it around like so. And then we're going to open it up. And then as you can see, it's already quite uh, softened and uh, we're going to keep, keep the pit here in the middle to put once it's mixed because that will also alleviate from it browning on top of the lemon juice. So I'm just going to mash this up using Epicure's uh, meat separator, a favorite tool of mine in the kitchen. Now you can do it for meat but you can use it for bananas, you can use it for avocados, um, you can use it to mix your ingredients and voila. So we're just going to put this aside now. And if I follow the directions on the side of the jars, which every jar comes with um, some recipes on the side, I always say for the seasoned individuals that are used to Epicure, you know that you need less if you let it sit a little bit. So um, for this, I'm actually just going to be using a teaspoon. Now, if I follow the recipe on the side of the jar, I would actually be putting a tablespoon because it says here for two ripe avocados to combine three tablespoons of the mix with some lime. Um, way too much. This guacamole mix is simply delightful. It's great for chicken. It's great for seasoned rice. It's great for just a regular veggie dip with Greek yogurt and mayo. So we're now going to add the splash of lime. Absolutely love our citrus press. It's great for drink season. As you can see, I'm cheering and having a little drink tonight. Um, we're going to be adding the lemon, the lime, sorry. So this is made for lemon, this is for lime. If you go this way, you're giving yourself an instant acid facelift. So make sure that you're putting it bottom down and you wanna be just pushing like so. It's a really, really popular item uh, with our customers more so with our hostesses and it is that popular that it actually comes in our Epicure starter kit. So if ever you're looking for a little side gig or 
you think you'd have you'd have fun joining our team, uh, you know, I invite you to message me and we can chat about it. So we're just going to mix this up. And uh, it smells so delicious, guys. Great addition for those hamburgers um, to put on there, but just as a side. And avocado is so good for you. So we're just going to put it like so. And then you would just put, guys, the pit in the middle like this um, for it to avoid browning along with uh, the fresh uh, lime juice. So I hope that you've enjoyed uh, yourself so far. And uh, I wish you all an amazing evening. Bye, everyone.